Thanks for messing around. We've got a new character. Good old Mino Hakaba, Soma's girlfriend. The reason he doesn't turn into a vampire. In Vampire Survivors, Beswick 355, Ode to Castlevania style. He starts with the Refectio and Extra Arcana 2, Twilight Requiem. Probably has a stat difference. It looks like her cooldown's a bit higher or a bit lower. So let's get it going. Oh boy, a long load screen. I already know what to evolve, so I... Oh no. I think beginning really doesn't do anything with it. That Requiem is the only thing, along with Gemini. So we'll grab Gemini. As well, Spellbook. And speaking of Spellbook, a Spirit Tornado. As usual, grab the Blinding Rage. Or Raging. Why does it keep saying Blinding Rage? Well, have that. And then just grab the other books off the ground as they come. And of course, we're up here to Being able to control the Refectio Sanctuary thing is actually really nice. It's not like a lot of other weapons with that. Oh, hey, neat. Uh, the farthest one I'm gonna... that's gonna take the while to get would be Hex. Everything else is much quicker to grab. And we'll get Fulgore. Alright, so that leaves Karamit Bubbles, Rock Riot, and Ice Fang to grab. Obviously, we want to evolve the main weapon first, even. Well, no, Reflectio is amazing. Alright, we're going to boost off Curse, which means it's actually not good with. Map can really just shoot out in odd directions. I don't have the bubbles yet, so. Ah, uh, sad day for other things. Araspona is a graduating. Oh, if only I could grab any of these. So I'm making an emergency Holocure stream before this video is posted because I'm recording this a day in advance. So it's not really, well, it's a sad day for this, but not a sad day when it's being posted, go figure. Yeah, we all want to speculate in order to get some control back in our lives, but it, well, helps some, helps others. I suppose I could have my own theories. Well, I definitely do have my own theories, but it won't help anyone to just announce them because it's just baseless nonsense based on intuition and the situation at hand. Perfectio. Oh, you did not last long. What damage did that do? I need a lot of chests. I need a lot of chests. I need a clover, too. Or it doesn't even do that much damage, considering how thin it is, too. Probably the worst of the spell books. Hmm. Then maybe cock this above it. Everything else is amazing. Well... Yeah, everything else is amazing. Then probably Salamander just because it's good instead of a crazy. Make sure we know that works correctly as the same damage. Hex does absurd damage. Absolutely nutty how much it does. Numa Tempest, Gale Cutter. Numa Tempestus needs no introduction. Absolutely crazy. I guess Gamma Torpa is merely good instead of... Rock Riding and Gamma Torpa are merely good instead of astounding. Hope to get things I can evolve first just so I can boss it up. Alright, Spellbook's once more clear in the way with no trouble. Perfectio first. Still need the Clover Max now, but... Oh right, I can't get that yet. Here's Refectio. Get some Clover level. I'll bind her for Coctus, but I don't have Coctus, but I'll get Coctus eventually. Look at Clover. Ah, I was hoping for at least one more. 
Oh, I need two more on Clover. Not a lot of luck getting that up. I will need armor eventually, so this way I can just grab the tier G and start grabbing the rest of the Armadillo stuff. Oh yeah, I'm thinking about maybe once I get them invincible, just skipping to the end with death, just to make the videos a bit shorter. Oh, let me know what you think. Obviously, once I become unstoppable, there's not much to say if I'm not going to move the moving around the map. Grab gold ring while I'm down here. You should not last long, Mr. Atlantean. Okay, let's see, this is coming out. Well, the second day of the week. Let's go with that. That would be Monday. For some. Sunday for others, and possibly Tuesday for someone. Oh man, time zones are weird. Is it possible to be in three di have three different time zones going on at once? I don't think that's how it works. But who knows, the world is crazy. Alrighty. Tater. Man, that hit like hard. I actually need to go Parmagus. I could go Creature to get the book level. Book level. I'll hold off here, Jisoo. I can just go get Death and Galmoth since I do have to go down there. Still. Some Spirit Tornado will give me more levels. Still don't have the Clover ready. Her sanctuary, her fears and lies melt away. Ah, just does not want to give it to me. Of my pickups, probably the best one to grab. Uh oh, I thought I had spinach up higher. Well then, if this is the case, then Gale Force. And bury, sir. Get him out of Tempestus. Right, and there is my Refectio in the Sanctuary. Bye bye, everything. Bye bye. I right, can't reduce its cooldown. It does do Twilight Requiem Burst, too. I don't know how the damage gets counted for it, but hey. Man, the Speculo Refectio is really nice. This is a little high damage, too. Hmm. Oh, well, no, I have the duplicator. 600. That's just full clear. And then it does a burst. Or it should do a burst of Twilight Requiem. Or even more absurd damage. Creature! Creature! We're gonna create you into failure. Thanks for the level book. Hmm. This is going to be faster to go over. Yeah, I can spawn in Soleil. It was Christopher's son. There. Oh man, I'm just going to miss him. No commenter said about it. I could just look it up, but... Yeah. Weird and lazy like that. I say as I go about the series where I've done everything with every character. Gotten all the gachi coins in Holo here. Was planning to do Tower of Suffering, but now I gotta do it to Sauna. Or Fauna. Hey, there's a good save on soil. If I have anything that's ready to pick up. Maybe if I get a big red gem level up a storm here, I could get Raging Flare into Salamander. Nope, I can't get a level off them. They're not very big. Man, you have negative growth? No, you still have the 115 growth everything seems to have in this DLC. There's this reload, but 
I was just holding out just in case. Yeah, go figure. And of course, as soon as I do it, it fires off like this. Olgor, I did get the thing, so it's fine. I did get its evolution, so it's fine. There's a vacuum, Clover. Blast through everything. Alright, grab the silver ring. I'm not gonna bother with the familiar forge again. It's weird with how it works. Right now, go get me some caramel bubbles. Woo hoo. Oh, I'm getting multiple of them out now. It's firing so fast. Not very helpful, but hey, it's there. Multiple of the speculos. Multiple speculo. No camera bubbles is closer than Rock Riot. Does it actually exist? Alright, there's Salamander. More levels. And camera bubbles. Caramel, caramel, caramel bubbles. Catch it, I Catch it more. The true enemy is a here. Well, I'll increase my experience gain at least, I think, I hope. And uh, step in here, head down, get some dash boots. Or no. Not a dash. And no, first I get cock get frozen fang. It's gonna then evolve into cactus. Yeah, I mean it is not having much trouble. Gemini plus innate Twilight Requiem. Yeah, not a lot's gonna stop that. Oh, more spellbook running. No, I only have one more spellbook character after this, and it's Elizabeth Bartley. Armila herself in a completely different guise, apparently. Eh. Eh. God, Hex does so much damage. I have another Moon Atlantean to wreck with it. Hey, Tenebris to Nitrous. Yeah, give me your sweet loot. I want another golden egg. This is gonna be so many golden eggs. And since they even appear... Actually, no, the curse on it is not very helpful. Twilight Requiem on Hex isn't very helpful because they just go so far off screen. It takes them forever to actually explode, so they're barely going to hit anything. 50,000. This is roughly on par with where Vincent was going. Mina. What was it Mina or Mika? You'd think I'd know. Considering I just introed her. Mika Hakba. Mina Hakba. No, I can fight a boss down low. Actually, I can just pop Sanctuary on the sisters and try to get them out that way. As well. Alright, go up, get the sisters. Ice Fang is leveling up. There we go. Wait, did I just get them with regular Sanctuary? No. Do I not really have Gale Cutter up? Oh, it's still one level off, huh? Oh, let's fix that ASAP. Or Gale Force. Why do I keep saying Gale Cutter? I might be 
fused with an art from Tales of series. Well, Spellbinder of these. X, more likely to get that up first. Oh, this is a huge level up. There's a Numa Tempestus. And there's a Spellbinder for you. We got them all good and framed. Alright, let's go grab a Sonic Dash and dash out of here. Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom. Sonic, Sonic Boom. No, my damage is good enough. I can start getting the gold stuff. Gold ring and Metaglio right up. Speed isn't great, though. Oh. I grab wings first. Instead, it'll get me moving faster. So I can get the other Armadillos. And then with Sonic Dash, I can just keep a zooming. I get them all so I can get the other tier GC without needing the level. So I need Rock Rite and Skullomaniac. Ooh, and get an Arcana. Okay, level up Storm. Wait, I don't have Skullomate Bubbles up. Huh. Or Caramat Bubbles. See, Calamite because of Dark Souls. This will do nothing. An old sanctuary. Heck yeah. I don't know, early wicked season? I should be strong enough to finish that out, no trouble. I mean, nothing should be getting through this. Gelmoth is on the right side. A wing to fly on. Not gonna stand here and wait. Oh, it's to the left. To the left, to the left. To the left, to the left. That's how you beat Bloodstarved Beast. Just move to the left. And it will never hit you. I have still never played Bloodborne, and I don't really have an interest towards it. Can I even get it on the PS5? I mean, I should be able to, but it's not like I have the cash for it. Hey, time to chill. You're enjoying the content and you got a couple bucks to spare for someone in a bad situation? I'd appreciate it. God, I feel so bad doing it, but hey. Got the Ko-Fi link down below. And a subscription, a like, a dislike, and a comment when it hurt. I'm sad about Fauna. Are you? I'm happy about Vampire Survivors, though. Are you? Like, what character do you think has been the strongest so far? What weapon? I'm inter more interested in that kind of thing. And just generic and... Silver. Silver. Silver ring. Ow. Oh, dang, earball. Oh, does Sonic Dash even need it maxed out? I think it does. Well, we're fixing that right away. X. I should have more than enough levels. Things to pick up. That I don't have to hit the tier D Sue. I can save it. Next one's gonna be the skull since I'd prefer Nightmare. Oh no, I don't even need Well no, I should still do it, it's still faster. Yeah, it's still faster to get to get them off here. Is it? Is it really, though? Man, that increases the damage Hex does as well when I'm in Curse Season. Oh, you can't even move. You're so stuck with damage. I don't know why you dropped the TRG, Sue. That's so weird. Some could pro You know what? If you know why he drops a tier G suit, give me a comment down below. I'd appreciate it. 
Like maybe it's just because of the rivalry with Dracula and Alucard. He's the boss of Kid Dracula. Just totally 100% caring. Not even a joke. I know that much at least. From topics. Fight, Gallimoth, fight! Yeah, we just maxed out that skull. Those I could have done. Waited and got it. Jing Shi to get a level. That would take it a very long time, and I just wanted to get it up early. Probably the closest two of the Armadillos together on the map. That curse. Man, Hex just does so much, it's scary. Here, let's care about Morbus. Alright, now let's go grab our very last Armadillo. Yay, Armadillo. And now we get the last one, a stone mask. Huh, that took quite a lot of damage. Because I was just moving into everything. That's about fixed. Right away with all this nice sanctuary healing. Or speculo. No, it's not even speculo sanctuary. It's still get the basic effect of regular sanctuary too. Mana first. Gotta make sure there's more enemies. And you stay still. More enemies means more XP. Means more levels. Really? Double really? Nightmare. It's time for the nightmare to be alive. Oh, this should be enough levels. No, it wasn't enough on the level of storm. I grab you. Get repeat us view. In theory, for my optimization, I should only move during breed season. I don't care that much. Oh, I got season. Oh yeah, used. No chance. Crazy bad. Ooh, double. That could have been a double evolution. But no, just random always that. Even if I get a level in Rock Riot or two, it won't matter. It won't matter in the long run now with this level of damage. Spellbooks! And some repeat Espio, just because you gotta move. Once more, I have completed my setup before the 16 minute mark. I suppose I could go down and fight the, the Atlantean. Not grab Matiago to the left, because I don't really need it. Oh, I do have Wicked Season on. Oh, granted, even with Wicked Season, this is happening. Yeah, even in Curse Season. Even in curse season. Still fighting you. It's still a golden egg for Mina Armika. Hi. You? Boy, why have I not gotten her name right? Is the Atlantean dead? Not spawning. It already spawning. Oh, this is awkward. All right, pretty team. Then. Oh, no more greed. It's lucky time. Yeah, so let me know in a comment down below if you'd prefer if I get to like invincibility state like this. If you just want me to skip to the end, 
on the full video or maybe just chapter it close to the end. I mean, chaptering would probably be the better idea, right? Well, you give me your ideas down below. For now, until I have anything or anyone saying otherwise, I'll just keep it as the full videos and uh, to add the chapters as appropriate. Alrighty, alrighty. What to talk about? Northern Castlevania has been absolutely amazing. It's absolutely crazy good DLC. Hope everyone is enjoying both that and this content I'm creating for you. Hope your day is going fine. I know I usually save this for the end, but one of the bad news, well, I guess different news, as some might say. It's Sarah's Fauna. I'm not sure if anyone who actually watches the whole care streams besides the random game channel. Hi, buddy. Hope you're doing swell. Saw that pillar of eternity or path of exile. Oh dear. I sure hope it's the path of exile too. Well, if it comes through, path of exile too. If not, more will look here. Halo, probably two days for, I mean, I could go one very long stream for you. I things in flux because I don't know if I'm going to get, like, any contacts back or anything. I don't actually talk about it much on the Vampire Survivors videos, do I? It's almost, like, all exclusively on the live streams, isn't it? Hmm. Well, it is easier to talk with people on the live streams. Oh, hey, they're getting close. Oh, they're doing damage. It's not going to matter, but hey. At least with Wicked Season, something's happening. Maybe I should grab the Metaglio. Just with a little bit of safety. Every little bit. I mean, it's eight levels. That's not a lot. Like, even less than that if I just go fight some bosses and level up off them. Get chests off them. Oh, you're durable. Not even curse season yet. Hey, trouble chest. I'll take you out. You don't have bat or slogan and guy down. Let's fix that. Hopefully you get taken out before luck season pops. Or ends. Hey, right away. Let's see what. Almost a thousand luck pops. Wait, no, is this tagged correctly now? Oh, hey, it actually tracks the growths correctly in the menu. My, gro my growth went down. Why did it go down? What's that noise? Oh, also, I forgot to drink. Ah, oh, delicious water. Funny thing is, I was doing a lot of talking on my jobs, and yet, I never had my throat get as only parched as it is when I'm streaming or recording videos. I guess it's because there were just so much larger gaps there. Where I basically have to always constantly be talking when I'm streaming or recording. Right, maybe it's just everything catching up to me on the back end. It could always be that too. Alright, next up is going to be Lisa, which new weapon for her. It would be a fun one, that. I mean, I don't think anyone expected Alucard's mom and Dracula's second wife to be a player character. <laughs> but everyone is here. I mean, Galaboth is probably more ridiculous. Dracula, yeah, yeah, you could 
That's a lot more possible than Gavilar. Elizabeth, Carmilla, those, those were also higher on here, but Gavilar, Lisa. Man, there's that kind of craziness Ponko came up when he came up with the Hey, let's add Lisa into the game as a playable character. Let's add Gallimoff into the game as a playable character. Like, good grief. I think we were probably all like, oh, hell yeah. That's why his greatest pull here is. I don't think ever quite replace. Vampire Survivor's here. Also, the fact that pull here you really can't. Just put it down like this. I'm not touching the controller now. Like, even to the end, you're still going to need to actually dodge things, because there's bullets. There are, like, map events of lightning here. Sort of like how Galmoth does his lightning. Or such. Yeah, Lisa Teps. He's going to unlock lock Shaft. Shaft uh, 2, yeah, Shaft is one you can see. He's important. Like, a Castlevania villain in more than one game is... Regular death. And I think that's quite literally it. Gallimoth. Like, for actual major characters. I guess kind of Carmilla slash Elizabeth. It's very limited. Not Browner. Not Walter. Plenty of others. Wow, doing thousands of damage per hit. That must be speculative sanctuary. They're actually getting in very far. Not even in curse season either. Hey, why is it going down so low? How is it 115 growth? Actually shouldn't be going down that low. Maybe that's like a bonus thing I'm getting from. All right, I don't want you. Not really. I mean, I don't really need anything. It's not gonna affect anything. I guess I could go Boogaloo at the very end. Yeah, I could have some music. I mean, maybe some of these will be better with Boogaloo to power them up more. Right now, sitting at the bottom of the... Wow. Sitting at the bottom of the spellbooks is Fulgore and Timidus Tenacris. Then above that, moving up to the decent tier is Ice Fang Coctus. Above that to the good tier is Salamander and Gemma Torpa. Then you have Kind of Amazing with Numa Tempestus and Caramet Morbus. Then absolutely absurd with Sanctuary and Nightmare. Though so really it's more like the hex damage. I need to try the spellbook. That's what I should do for Elizabeth Bartley. I should do the spellbooks without Gemini, see how well they function. Because with them they're absolutely absurd as visible. Well, sort of visible. Visibility is a rolling count. Oh, okay. Can't see the difference on the video. Real low for Seven likes, one dislike. And sadly, that's a decent video for me. Uh, but thank you everyone for watching this far. Thanks for any support you've given me. Even if it's just a subscription without commenting, a comment with sort of subscription, or a like or a dislike. It is important to have people be honest with their things. You didn't like the Julio LaFleur's video. I appreciate that. We bottled too much stuff we're not comfortable with up inside. And trust me, I am all about that. I am as bold as we are, as bold as a lot of streamers can be. Ultimately, we can just be talking to ourselves, the people we have more control over. If someone starts getting rowdy in chat, I can just give them the boot. I can't do that in real life. That's scary in real life. I could get in trouble. I could get punched in the face. 
a number of levels. I think Cactus really benefits the most from area. You get it hitting the full screen and combine it with Yellow Crystal, it'll probably move up heavily in the tier list. But I just don't see anything Tinnitus, Nitrous Tinnitus can do. It's really beneficial for you. It just offers nothing. Well, that was not a lot. Plenty of pickups though. My luck is crazy out of control. Yeah, 664 of luck. Wait, why is the curse? Oh, it's because I must be standing in the curse zone. Oh, now I am. Wow, that's an absurd amount of curse. Does curse have a limit? I know might, area, duration, and projectile speed all have a max of 1,000 outside the specific out of boundsy stuff. Like Divine Bloodline keeps skimming endlessly, as does the might on the weapons themselves from limit breaking. Oh hey, Super Candy Box 2 Turbo Edition. Or regular edition. You're not really needed. Oh. I'll just double confirm that yes, Familiar Forge is a weapon. But it goes in the slot for passives. So, I'll tell you they're passive weapons, but you don't think of them as weapons, you think of them as items or passives. 27. Not actually that high of a kill count compared to a lot of others. Probably because the curse went so nutty. A lot of the spellbooks are going to be pretty difficult on a solo weapon run. Just because they mostly synergize well with each other. But you have nothing to protect you with Gemma Torpor. Gemma Torpor. Oh, no, it is Gemma Torpor. Oh, hey, can you box two turbo? I mean, I couldn't. Do, do, do. A meal ticket. Yeah, sure, let's get paranormal scan at the end, that'll be funny. I know it breaks the little spellbox things, but hey, it's paranormal scan. It can't not be the best thing in the game. Seriously, you get paranormal scan, and outside absurdities, you're winning. Now, speaking of absurdities, one of those did occur to me and I lost a paranormal scan. Like, how do I do that? That's why I'm say I don't say I'm good at video games. So I can lose in the most absurd of circumstances. As my Halo stream indicated to air, like Boy did everything go wrong with that one. Flat back half of ODST today. Yesterday. Two days ago. Two days ago. Saturday. Yes, let's say Saturday, November 30th. That makes far more sense than anything else I could have said. At very least, my damage numbers are going to be crazy high for certain weapons. If I get 20,000 damage, that means Sanctuary might break a billion. It'll be interesting to see how that performs once we get to sign old Sanctuary run with her. Oh, everything is... Nice and safe. This is like uh, somewhere in the 30s. There's 80 characters. She's around 30. Complete 31, 32. Almost halfway done. Quitting time. 187 million on hex. Good God. 105.2k. Regular Hex 2. Yeah, that has to keep showing up, even though it gets turned, because it doesn't make sense otherwise. And that outdid Sanctuary by a lot, too. Double its damage. Yeah, Hex... Hex is absolutely absurd. Holy crap, that damage. I guess it's a lot of it is just it keeps hitting things off screen because the projectiles go so far. 
Okay, so what was Mina Hakuba? Wait. All right, Mina wasn't to unlock anything. She was just to play. Lisa is to unlock Shaft, who will then unlock Elizabeth. And then take this all the way back down to Albus. There'll be new weapons for a bit. And then Nathan will be here, and he'll finally get Walter unlocked. Uh, I think this is the optical shop for Barlow, and then... I have to do something off camera, because that's obviously something I need Maria with. But that'll be for in the future. Thanks for watching, everyone. As we check off, go. Yeah, thanks for messing around as Mina Hakaba gets 1,989 done on the Bazwick. Not much trouble from a spellbook character. That's 119 characters in total, 867 to go. Next up, we're moving down to Lisa Tepes, Dracula's wife, Alucard's mother. So we can unlock Shaft to unlock Elizabeth, and then we go back to Albus and finally get them all done in a row. Certainly, there won't be any more trouble in the future, right? Thanks again for watching. I hope you had some fun. On the right's the start of the Beswick. On the left is going to be the next video or the best video. And the center is a subscription if you haven't already. Please subscribe. Have a good day. And keep messing around on the Vampire Survivors Beswick Ode to Castlevania style.